Hi everyone, my name is Tony Wale and welcome to another exciting episode of Skyrim Special Edition Mod Tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to create an to create a batched and a an a SSE edit merge patch for mod organizer. So the first thing you're going to want to make sure that before you're making your merge and your batch patch, you're going to want to make sure that all your your ESMs are um, in compatible order through loot, okay? Just go ahead and click loot and run it. And then you're also going to want to make sure that if you have the unofficial patches under any ESM that you have, okay? And then you're going to want to make sure if you have alternative start, it's always at the very bottom. Okay? And you want to make sure that on your on your left panel, mod organizer under pri priorities, that that is the same, it's the same exact setup, okay? And the reason you want that is because it, it's, it helps, the same as your ESPs and the same on your left, the same on your right with the ESPs, you want it exactly the, the same on the left. It makes it much more compatible with the game. All right. So what a merge and batch patch do is basically they merge the file systems and list trees and tweaks that you have for each mod together with one another, making each mod more com mod more compatible. Okay, to make the game run smoother. All right. So the first thing we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and click on SSE edit. Now, whatever mods you want to merge through your merge patch, you can go ahead and click on it, click none, or just decide which ones you want. I'm going to merge all of them just to show you how to make a merge patch. I'm going to click select all. All right, and click OK. As it loads, I will go ahead and skip ahead in the tutorial so you don't have to worry about it, watching it load. <laughs> all right, everyone, so we've finished loading. Um, so the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to right click anywhere in this area where your ESPs are and go down to other. Go up to create merge patch. You just, oh, don't worry about this. All it's telling you is, is it's not responsible for any problems you have with your merge patch. All right? Just cl click OK. I mean, click yes. I apologize. All right. So the first thing you're going to want to write is you're going to want to write capital S S E M merged. Okay? That's S S E capital M merged. Right? Make sure it's make sure that's correct. Right, click OK. All right, it's going to go ahead and lock for, for you while, as it creates the merge patch. All right, you'll know it's done loading when you see the, all these at the very end with the final ESP. All right, you're going to come over here. If you have any level lists for any NCPs or inventory armors or weapons, go ahead and delete those. And you can do that just by right-clicking and go ahead and remove. But we're not going to do that since we don't have any. Okay, so, and you're going to want to go ahead and you're going to want to clean your masters just to be sure. So come up here right click and clean masters check your file header to make sure everything's correct all right it is go over here to exit click ok make sure your backup plugins is in and click ok all right your ESP should be in the override folder here okay as you can see so you're gonna go ahead and click close you want to go ahead and create a mod now so you're gonna go ahead and right click create mod I like to write SSE merge patch so I know where it's at in mod organizer you can write it whatever you want okay go to uncheck check it and there's my ESP I've just created my merge patch now you can also remove the merge patch if you want just by going ahead and right clicking and go down to remove mod and it will just completely disappear but then you're gonna have to go ahead and create another one now I'm gonna exit out of mod organizer because um, this version tends to crash if I click the executable again I'm going to go ahead. This is how I'm going to refresh it. As you can see, it crashed. <laughs> no, don't worry if it crashes. It's, it's still going to work. Load it back up. And now we're going to create a bash patch. Come up to wire bash. Turn it on. Click on this. Make it bigger. All right. You're going to go ahead down here to bashed. You're going to right click. You're going to go down to build patch. If you want to merge these ESPs to free up some of your uh, your, ES your load order, go ahead and leave them leave them activated. If not, like myself, I don't like that. I don't actually don't like to merge these. Just go ahead and unclick them. Okay, go click OK. Making sure they're not they're still not activated. They're not. Okay. We're going to go ahead. and We're going to bash these together. Like I said, w uh, Wire Bash does a really good job at level lists, especially with um, immersive armors and any other armor mods you have. That's why it's always better to, to use um, level lists when it comes to the Bash Patch and not the Merge Patch. All right, and go ahead and click Build. I'll go ahead and uh, skip the tutorial ahead so you don't have to worry about this loading as it creates the patch. All right, guys. Um, so 
you're not seeing the level list here. Do not worry because it's not in the actual data folder. It can't read the ESBs very well. This is not a big deal. If you want to see how this is, you can go to model. Uh, you can look at my other one. Um, you can load this through. Uh, make a bash patch through. Um, look at my my other videos. It'll show you how what the level list look like and how to make a bash patch. Um, right now, all we're going to do is click OK. As you can see, it changed 30, 38 records. Exit out. Come down here. Right click. Make sure your ESP is there. It is, along with the documents. Close. Okay, you're going to right click. Create mod. I'm going to put batch patch. And click OK. Now, the ESP is not there, even though you, create, you have to go to uncheck. Check it. And there you have your bash patch. All right, everyone, there's your, your merge and your bash patch. Thank you for watching my tutorial. I always appreci appreciate everyone who checks out my videos. If you like my video, um, please go ahead and share it with your friends. Um, if you like my channel and like my videos and you want to get, get more content, please go ahead and subscribe. Always appreciate it. Anyway, guys, my name is Tony Wale. Thanks for the click, and I will see you next time.